Before we start, I just want to say a huge thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I'll chat a little bit more about them later. If you've been watching this channel for a while now, you'll know that this is my car, a Cream Mini Cooper S R56. I've had it for a few years now and I've really enjoyed it. It's been a really great car to have, as was the Mini I had before it, my first car. It's a very blue looking Mini. But I think it's time for a change. At the start of the pandemic, I moved out of London to the countryside and ever since I've been doing a lot more driving. And a lot of that driving has been fairly long distances. And this car is not great for long distances. After about an hour, I'd say, you're feeling really uncomfortable. It's got a very firm ride, which isn't the best. It's not got very much room for people or camera kit, which hasn't been very useful. And it's quite old now, so it hasn't actually got much tech in it, which again is quite frustrating. So long story short, I have bought a new car and it is not a Mini. It's a Volkswagen. More specifically, it's a VW Tiroc, a nice blue one, in fact. It has a two litre petrol engine, 190 horsepower, and it does zero to 62 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. But more importantly to me, it's a very comfortable car to drive, even for really long distances, much better than the Mini. It's bigger than I'm used to, which is great, because it means I can fit anything I could ever need in there. And I think it looks pretty cool as well. Before I go for a drive, I want to talk about today's awesome sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform from which to create your website. You can use Squarespace to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated, members-only content. Manage your members, send email communications, and leverage audience insights, all in one easy-to-use platform. And that's not all. You can also create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system that supports threaded comments, replies, and likes. You can use their powerful blogging tools to categorize, share, and schedule your posts. If you want to start a shop, you can do that too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. And if that isn't enough for you, you can also display posts from your social profiles on your website and automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels. It really is an all-in-one package with everything you need. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com for a Lucy to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. What is that? There's a boat in the road being pulled by a child. Can we put it out of the road before I get there? Yes, you can. He's only about seven. He's got a little sailing boat on a trailer. Thank you, child. Something that you probably don't know about me and that might surprise you is that although I work at Drive Tribe, I'm not actually massively into my cars. Don't get me wrong, I do like cars and I do enjoy driving, but I wouldn't say that I enjoy driving the same way that Mike Fernie enjoys driving or James May or Hammond or anyone for that matter. I am a little bit of a nervous driver and I haven't driven very many cars. This is only the third car that I've properly driven. And all the other cars I've driven have been minis. My brother has a mini workshop, so it's all made sense for us all to have minis as our first few cars. And the first thing I noticed when I got this car and something that I had to get used to was the size of it. It's much bigger than a mini. It's not massive. It's not a huge sort of SUV but it does feel a lot bigger than a very small Mini when you're on the road. And that took some getting used to, as did the fact that it's automatic as well. I've never before this driven an automatic car. So that took a little bit of getting used to. But after a week or two of driving this, I got used to both the size of it and the fact that it's automatic. And once I'd done that, I relaxed and this car is just so easy to drive and so comfortable to drive. Much higher off the ground, so I've got much better visibility and other cars have much better visibility of me. Whenever I was in my Mini and I was on dual carriageways, people would not really sort of get out of the way for me in the same way that they do in this. I think maybe as I'm more visible, people just move, move out of the way a lot more and I can see a a bit further forward as well because I'm higher off the ground which is never something I thought I wanted in a car but now that I have got it I do like it I guess that's one of the reasons that SUVs are so popular is because people feel safer being higher up and having that extra visibility and it's definitely something that I can relate to 
Little things like it's just started raining and my wipers have come on automatically. Little things like that are things I guess that lots of people should take for granted if they've been driving new cars for the, like, the last five years, I guess. But it's not something that I'm used to, so whenever it rains and my wipers come on, it's something that I'm super excited about because I'm just not used to it. Same thing with Apple CarPlay. Like little things will make me happy. And I know you might think, it's, oh, it's a boring car, why did you get that? Blah, 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 the Mini was a nice hot hatch, it was fun, but this is just what I need right now. I need a slightly bigger car that's good for long distance. Didn't go electric, mainly because there's not at all much electric infrastructure around where I am, and also quite expensive. A lot of the electric cars are quite expensive, and I did want a Tesla Model 3, but there aren't many superchargers near me, and also, again, Tesla Model 3 is pretty expensive and it's not very high off the ground. I did test drive a few cars like this that's sort of higher off the ground. I guess they call this a CUV, a compact utility vehicle. Not quite an SUV, but not quite a hatchback either. And having that height is something I really like, so that was, that's what kept me away from the Tesla. I don't think I'm a bad driver, but I think I could potentially be a dangerous driver sometimes in my Mini because I was always a bit on edge and a bit anxious about what was happening around me. Whereas in this, it's bigger, I've got better visibility, I feel safer, so I can be a little bit more confident and less indecisive at junctions and things like that and roundabouts, which I think overall, although it sounds like it could be dangerous, it's actually making me a safer driver because hesitation can be an issue when you're driving, it can be unsafe. So I think this car has made me a safer driver and a happier driver as well, I guess. When we used to have, if I was going to Hammonds for a shoot and I had a three hour, three and a half hour drive in my Mini, I'd physically be dreading it because I knew it'd be horrible and uncomfortable and I wouldn't really enjoy it. Whereas now, the day before a shoot at Hammonds, I'm like, oh, cool, I'm going to Hammonds tomorrow. Better have a good playlist. And I don't really have any worries other than that. So, that's really nice. I don't have to dread car journeys anymore because I'm happy to drive around in this. It's quiet in here as well. It used to be quite loud in my Mini, especially when I was going fast. And this is a lot more quiet and sophisticated, I guess is the word. Grown up, I feel like I've, I've bought my first adult car. I feel like a little hot hatch is definitely a younger person's car, more often than not. So this feels like my first adult car. I'm coming up to a speed bump right now. And I used to have to take this speed bump in my Mini at about 10. I'm going to take it at 20. Easy. Barely felt it. Would have been flying if I was in my Mini right then. The camera probably would have dismounted from its mount and just flown over the car. But the T-Rock can take it. I don't know if it's T-Rock or T-Rock or Troc. I do not know, but I think I've been calling it the T-Rock or the T-Rock. I'm not sure. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. There's another boat. Why is there boats everywhere? Oh, they're saying I can fit past their boat. see that on my camera but another person with a boat I think it's because it's finally getting cold it's been raining constantly but it stayed at about consistent at 15 degrees but it's finally getting cold now so people are we live near the water and we have a lot of row boats down in the fields people can row out to their actual boats and I think people are starting to take their row boats out from the field because they're realistically not going to go sailing anytime soon because it is winter beepers that's new never had beepers in my mini very useful especially for parking so that's my new car i'm sure some of you will think it's quite a boring choice but i've been driving it for a few months now and it's really been the perfect car for what i need in my life right now i really like it Thanks for watching, feel free to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.